Hello, respected people, and welcome back to Respected Minister. Don't forget to subscribe the channel before starting the video. Ben Fordham tweet. A union heavyweight has turned their back on Anthony Albanese. They say labor is no longer the party of the workers and have taken aim at their current energy policy. Logical. I mean, let's face it. The Albo government is a million times better than the previous mob. But let's not kid ourselves. Federal labor are not left wing. They need to take more pages out of Victoria labor. Kinky Mainens Idney. So according to you, the unions run the party and the unions want nothing to do with them. You can't have it both ways, Benji. NYX. Good. Albo is killing the building industry. My partner only gets half days now because there's no work people can't afford to build. Essa Bridgestone. Edit. A union heavyweight has finally woken up to the reality of labor under Anthony Albanese. They say labor is no longer the party of the workers and probably hasn't been for a very long time. Yender. Net zero means deindustrialization, which means blue collar jobs will disappear. It's amazing the AWU has put up with this crap for so long. CX are pistol. Maybe they are trying to distance themselves from the government after VAX rollout. They know their time is limited. We the people. That is so spot on. Labor does not represent the working class anymore. Time for a new party that represents the people, not the businesses. Lindy Bota. Labor hasn't been the party of the workers for decades. Same goes for Liberals, Nationals, Greens, and Teals as well. Joncho Dua. That's a big joke of the year so far. The unions pulls labor strings, funds labor with their grift money wind up. This is a gobsmacked. As a 20 plus year labor voter who moved away from libs to labor when I was late 20s, I can attest to this. Labor is no longer the party of the workers and poorer people. They have lost touch, and this useless PM needs to resign. That concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow political enthusiasts, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australians' politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.